What is up, YouTube? So, um, I am actually working on my old Chevy. As you can see, I've mounted a light bar um, and done some color matching on it, which, you know, I didn't use the right primer. So that's that's for a different video. But um, as of right now, I am installing some new blinkers. These are LED switchbacks from Bryshine. They do not sponsor this video. I am uh, I am 100% independent. I don't I don't do any any kind of sponsoring or nothing by these guys. And I'm if you're ever if you're ever putting uh, blinkers, LED blinkers, in these older trucks, <clears throat> the computer has to read that the uh, that, that it's got to have a certain resistance per bulb. So I got on Amazon and picked up some of these. Uh, they're 50 watt, 6 ohm resistors. So I don't get hyper, uh, hyper flash, hyper blink. Um, but as of right now, I've got my right, my right sides mounted up as good as I want to do it for right now. Later, I'll if I if I like the way they work or I don't have any issues out of them, I'll uh, I'll end up pulling them and soldering all the connections together. I ain't worried about that right now. I just want to get them in. Um, anyway. So, that's what I'm doing out in my driveway, and it's not taking very long. Um, I'm actually getting ready to start on the other side here, so let me, uh, let me show you here. I've still got one screw in there, so let me zip it out real quick. Alright, sorry about that. Alright, so... I've noticed that the uh, blinker wires, all right, on these older Chevys like this here, the blinker wire is the light blue, the light blue wire that goes to the socket and your grounds are black. So you'll need to know that when you wire up your resistors, you'll want one, your, one of your wires to go to your blinker, your turn signal wire, and you'll want the other one to go to your ground. You don't want to wire it into your parking light because they don't they don't work like that. Um, you'll have to wire like right here. I've got one one connection. You can see that one connection on the black wire there, and one connection on the uh, blue wire. And yes, I know this is not corrosion safe and all this other stuff. I I ain't worried about that right now. I'm just wanting to get them in, and see how I like them. Um, anyway, yeah. Uh, You'll want to mount after you get these resistors in. They've got two holes in them, one here and one here. And you'll want to mount them back away from your your light housing in there somewhere. Uh, I think I'm going to mount mine in here, right in here. Anyway, uh, they get hot. You don't want them to melt your your housing. You don't want to just leave them hanging in there because it'll melt something. Um, so yeah, that's. Uh, that's another big a big thing. You want to make sure they're mounted back away from something. Make sure you you look on the back side of whatever you're mounting them to, and don't run a screw through something like your uh, like your radiator or a transmission cooler line or an oil cooler line or anything. So just uh, letting you guys know that, and uh, I'll uh, do an update video when it's all done, and uh, let you know how it goes.